My mom always tells me I was born with the ability to create worlds. My name is Mary Margaret Vickers. I'm in visual arts and I go by pronouns she, her, and hers. I live in Louisville, Kentucky now and I go to DuPont Manual High School. I'm originally from Henderson, Kentucky, which is in western Kentucky. And there's goldenrod everywhere and I used to hate it because it would make me sneeze really bad because I have terrible allergies. But yellow is my favorite color so I would always like find the middle ground. When I lived in Henderson in my hometown, I did not like it because I grew up suppressed and with no art education and felt by myself and no artists were near me so I, I felt very closed off. I didn't like the idea of Henderson so I didn't like the idea of Goldenrod because those were always together in my mind. But I've come to love my town more, sometimes being away from somewhere and taking your space can just show what you really love about it and that the, the things that you hate don't really matter in the midst of what you love. I don't hate where I'm from and it, it'll just always be a part of the way I make art. I would want people to recognize that I'm here to see the good in the world and to create work that recognizes bad things but creates good things out of them. I want to make work that other people who don't know me can look at and be like, yeah, like, I see it, I see you, like that's, and they really relate to it or really are inspired by it. I want them to feel like they have never seen what they're seeing. So I'm always trying to make people feel like they're seeing something new, but also that they're seeing something really personal because that's my favorite type of art. Beast in You is a prompt basically um, asking for you to recognize like a problem or something that bothers you, either in the community, the world, another person, or like a community that's very specific to you. And I chose my art magnet at school. Basically the piece, which is Gort the capybara being strapped down by fabric from my school, is a discussion about how highly competitive environments even though they're really good for good art, can really limit the ability for young artists to build communities with other young artists and to have that like friendliness um, with other people, like capybaras do. They're incredibly social and they can be friends with everyone. There's um, people who I've become really close to who we have the same aspirations. I've really found my people here and sometimes when you're by yourself in a creative environment and you feel like you're the only one, it can be really hard to keep going. And so I think just being in a place where there's a diverse people who like what I like, but aren't necessarily doing it in the exact same way that I do has been really, really special. And just I'll remember them for the rest of my life and we'll call each other for jobs and I'll hopefully be working for Pixar or something and just call up my friend and be like, do you want this job? So. I think it'll, it won't stop at GSA. That love will just keep going. My experience at GSA has been beautifully strange, very funky, and something I'll never, ever, ever, ever let go of, ever. I love it too much. The end. That's about it.